Okay, here we go. This is Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries.org. This is a movie review. This is the second one. The first movie re review I did is on my YouTube channel, and that was about the Christian movie called The War Room, and you can easily find that on my YouTube channel. You can find it under Movie Reviews, or you can just type in, you know, The War Room in the search engine. Now, oh, I'm fixing the mic while I talk. I hit the mic on an accident. Okay. This is the second movie review, and this is going to be about the brand new Christian movie that just came out called Risen. Risen. Risen from the dead. It's about Jesus rising three days later. Now, Risen, the movie Risen was made by Sony and Columbia, Columbia Pictures. Yeah, the Illuminati. So why would they make a Christian movie? Well, because God is sovereign and not man. And the demons are not in charge. And the, and the demonic generals are not in charge of nothing. And neither Satan. They are dumb farm animals that God uses to do his will. Um, as to date, the movie has grossed about $50 million worldwide. That's not too bad. $50 million, not bad at all. Now, I bought the movie on Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray didn't work. I don't know if it's my computer. I don't know. I, I think it's my computer. I don't think it's the Blu-ray. So what I did is I had to um, rent it on Amazon. So I, I bought the Blu-ray for $20. Um, it doesn't work. I'm having some kind of problem with my computer. So... Um, I rented it for $5.99, so I rented it for $6, and here is the review. Um, I want to go over the good stuff first. So what's good about the movie? Well, the star of the movie is Joseph Fiennes, the famous actor. Um, he, did, he was in the movie Shakespeare in Love and Hercules and The Red Baron, and many, many other movies. So, because he's starring in a Christian movie, does that mean he's born again now? No, that would be fantastic. So, they have a semi-famous actor as the star of the movie, and he plays the role of uh, Clavius, the Roman commander in charge, of, in charge of the army in Jerusalem and Judea. So um, they got a semi-famous actor there. And now the actor who played Pilate, his name is Peter Firth. And um, I'll talk about him in a second. And then the actor who plays Jesus his name is Cliff Curtis, and we'll talk about them. And, and you know, you know that I keep the video short, so we're not going to be talking a long time. I'm going to get right to it, and hopefully this whole video will be over in about five minutes from now. Okay, the good first. Here we go. The acting was good. Do you know in the entire movie... I did not see a single piece of bad acting that I can remember. I, I thought the acting was, was good. I mean, not fantastic, but I thought it was real good. And I don't think you're going to have a problem with the acting. Now, the movie is about an investigation into Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. Clavius the Roman commander is doing an investigation because he's ordered by Pilate to do the investigation. That's why it's called Risen. They're trying to find out, did, did Jesus die on the cross? Did the apostles steal his body? What happened? Where did he go? What's the truth? So the movie's an investigation. And another good thing are the costumes and the clothing. The clothing Pilate was wearing, the, clo the clothing that the Roman soldiers were, were wearing, the, the clothing that the so-called Jewish people in the movie were wearing, I thought was good. I mean, 
looking at the clothing, you, it really makes you believe that you're actually there. I thought, I thought they did a fantastic job with the costumes. Another good thing were the movie sets. Whether it's Pilate's Palace, whether it's a Roman courtyard, whether it's a Hebrew village where the apostles are hiding. I thought, I thought the uh, movie sets were very good. I really did. Um, they looked real. And some of them were beautiful. And I, I thought they did a good job with the movie sets. Now, I'm not going to give away any spoilers. I'm not going to tell you any secrets. Not, not at all. I'm not going to. But I thought the last 20 to 30 minutes of the movie was very satisfying. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to hint at anything else. I don't want to ruin your fun. But the movie has a satisfying last 30 minutes. So, that's all of the good there. Now, some movie critics, um, for example, like um, Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun, he said that Joseph Fiennes did a bad job, that he was too stoic, too much like cardboard. Well, Joseph Fiennes, who plays Clavius, the Roman commander, He's playing a role of a very serious commander who's sick of all the death. And yes, he played a serious role. And on the one hand, I can see Richard Roper's point that he was a little stoic. But on the other hand, I thought he did a good job. I thought that's how a Roman commander might possibly act. Who's who's sick of the death, who's sick of the torture and everything else. I thought Joseph Fiennes did a good job. Now let's go to Peter Firth, the actor who plays Pilate. I thought he did a good job. Yeah, I thought he did. Now let's finish up with Cliff Curtis, the actor who plays Jesus. Now I want to make something clear. This movie is not so much about Jesus, it's about Clavius, the Roman commander. He's doing an investigation to find out if Jesus was raised from the dead. But Jesus is in some scenes. And I have to give them credit. I think Cliff Curtis did a really good job as Jesus. And I thought, he look, I thought his physical appearance was possibly good for the Son of God. He wasn't too good looking and he wasn't bad looking and, and his, his hair and his skin color and the way he presented himself on the camera, I thought, man, I thought he did a good job. I really did. And I've seen a lot of Christian movies and I've seen a lot of actors who portray Jesus. And remember, Jesus is only in a couple scenes. But I, I thought, I thought um, Cliff Curtis did a really good job. One last thing about the good section is, the movie, the movie was filmed in Malta and in Spain. And they put in some beautiful scenery. There's some beautiful shots, beautiful backgrounds, Beautiful mountains, beautiful wilderness. I thought they did a good job. So, as you can hear there, the good is really, really good. Now, there's a couple things I didn't like, so let's go to the bad now. Number one, after Jesus died on the cross and they put him in the tomb, the Roman leader Clavius put, put two Roman soldiers guarding the tomb and these guys were like clowns. These guys, were, these two soldiers were not serious sergeants. They weren't serious captains. They weren't serious lieutenants. These two guys were like two clowns and they got drunk in the movie. Um, they got drunk on um, 
while they were um, guarding um, uh, the tomb that Jesus was buried in. Um, so I, I thought that was a mistake by the movie um, uh, producers and directors and the executives. Um, now, the two guards guarding the tomb, that's unbiblical, but this movie is not 100% biblical. It has fiction. It has Christian fiction in it, and it works really well. They're not claiming to be a 100% biblical movie. They're not claiming to be that. They're not saying they're that, so don't expect that. But it has some Christian fiction mixed in with biblical truth, and it's interesting. And I had a lot to think about during the movie. And, you know, and, and as the weeks go by, I can see myself maybe thinking about various scenes when I'm laying in bed going to sleep because it's interesting. Um, something else that's bad is there are some gruesome scenes of death, of a little bit of death, a little bit of torture, and some scenes of some morbid stuff, which I don't want to talk about. I don't want to ruin your surprises. But there is some gruesome scenes, not too many, but there's two, three, four, or five of them. And I thought that was, I mean, come on, it's a Hollywood movie. So of course they're going to do that. So uh, be prepared for that. Now, some of you know I'm a musician. I play guitar, bass, piano. I do orchestration. I got the studio in my condo. You know, I got six um, Christian songs up on YouTube, Christian uh, music videos. So how about the music? Well, I didn't really notice it. Which, you might say, that's good, Garrett. The movie was good. You were thinking, you were watching, you were following the plot. And that's true. I, I thought the movie was average. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought the music was average at best, and that's not bad. Average music, that's not bad. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying it's average. So we're at the 12, 13 minute mark or whatever right now. <clears throat> to finish up this movie, is it worth $20 to buy it on Blu-ray? You know, if you're on fire for the Lord, and you got a Blu-ray player at home. And you got the $20 extra to, to buy it at Walmart, to buy it at Target, to buy it on Amazon. I would say it's worth it to have in your collection. It's the kind of movie you might want to watch once a year, once every six months. I would say it's kind of worth $20. Um, another idea is... You can buy it on Amazon on, in high definition for about $14, and, and that seems worth it. And I rented it. You, you can watch it for 48 hours as many times as you want. I rented it for $6, and um, that was worth it. So to give you my final answer, I want to say this. There's one or two or three surprises in the movie, which I'm not going to talk about, and I'm not going to ruin your fun, and, and I'm not going to do spoilers, no. There's a couple surprises that I really enjoyed and that are going to make me think about things for a, a few weeks. So I would like to recommend this movie, as long as you remember the good and bad that we talked about, and I'm happy I saw it. And um, I think you'll like it too. Um, it's interesting. And all right, praise God. Someone, uh, someone made a pretty decent, pretty good Christian movie. Praise God.